Hey, what's up, everybody? BDF44 coming at you with another video. So, um, this is a, I guess, is an ape's rant. An ape's rant, excuse me. I'm just waking up. Um, obviously, we got this stock market doing what it's doing. You got AMC on the tab for my conversation, as always. And we just got our first, first halt, trading halt. A uh, good 15 minutes into the trading day, we ran up to $34 from $29. We saw pre market, we went up to about $30, and the thing just shot up. And then you see it just crash down to 29 and then followed by a little sign on the top of the screen that says, oh, halting, we're halting. So I'm like, OK, um, so this is to be expected. We knew this was coming. This is going to happen a whole lot to us. Uh, it's going to affect the price in the short term. Uh, but when it resumes, what we expect is that the price should resume to where it should have been. Uh, Halting doesn't actually stop the progress of the stock. It just allows them an opportunity, from what I understand, them, whoever, they, the boogeyman, an opportunity to uh, to adjust to what he needs to adjust to to assure that, um, you know, they can they can flow the market smoothly as this happens. So this is not a we're screwing AMC thing necessarily, though it can definitely be used as that. Um, but it is something I've seen many times before uh, in previous situations. That ain't got nothing to do with AMC. Um Usually when something's running up crazy, I saw this with GME quite a bit. I saw it with Tilray when that thing squeezed. Uh, so this is um, this is par for the course and get used to it is what I would tell all the new apes. Uh, we're very excited, though. Our goals, the, the goals that we were hoping to meet to reach our um, to, to do what it is that we were hoping to do in terms to the to the hedge funds and, and holding them accountable. Um, we're in that 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 red territory for them right now. They should, in theory, be headed down the tubes right now uh margin called and and, and and going belly up basically a lot of uh in these prices uh who have shorted the stock and i'm just very very happy very happy and proud of all of us for for getting this far we couldn't have gotten this far if we didn't uh ignore certain things particularly fud sac psychological uh nonsense people telling you you're crazy people telling you that you ain't gonna make no money on the play well here we are they're halting us they are halting us. We we are up. I would say without that halt, probably a hundred percent on the week. Apes are here to stay. We're just getting started. If you don't have any shares, I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, but I will say that you won't be seeing prices like this a whole lot. I don't think. Um, we can always see ourselves getting halted. We could always see them shorten this thing with every little bit of cash they got left. But ultimately, uh, it's cigar time our enemy is is more or less in a position where they're getting hit with with fatal fatal blows so um we'll see what what happens in terms of how that trickles down to us getting paid but as far as them getting 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 hammered um all that we've been working for for a year and, and some change is finally happening now and uh i couldn't be more thankful i couldn't be more proud um and i just want to i want to encourage everybody not to panic right now not to panic when things start getting better and certainly don't panic when things continue to be volatile because we are in for a very difficult road going forward to try to make sure that we collect whatever is coming our way. They're going to make that difficult for us. They're going to try to make it so that some people lose out, miss out. But at the end of the day, if you know what you hold, you know what you own, you know what needs to happen. They got to cover. If they don't, your shares are still worth something. So let that be. Let that be something that carries you forth um, do it to toward doing your own due diligence and doing your own homework on what it is that you need to do for your own finances, as well as what it is you need to know about what you're investing in, including AMC or wherever else you decide to invest in. Know what it is you're dealing with. Don't listen to some someone on YouTube tell you what you should and should not do or insinuate what you should and should not do. Take the information that you get from those videos and parlay that into something that you can can tangibly see and understand before doing anything that you know it's going to cost you so that's what i got to say man my name is bdf44 i'm not this is not a long video we're just getting we're getting them halts baby you know this is just when we know we're entering gamma territory exciting times y'all bdf44 peace